Hello, uh, in this video I'm going to be describing to you how to make a custom blend. Like for example, I have a blend of stone and dirt. Uh, assuming you already know how to use the displacement tool and uh, you know using blends to begin with, um, I'm going to get started. Alright, two programs you're going to need for this. Well actually you can do it with one, but it's a little bit easier with two. Uh, you're going to need to download a program called GCF Scape, which allows you to open uh, your game files, like like here's my uh, Steam Apps folder. You know, I got Counter Strike, you know, Episode 2, so on, so on, so on. I got DoD here. Um, basically, it allows you to open it up. And as you can see, it's laid out similar to how your game folder is within your account folder. Like, let me go up here. Here's my account back chaos. It's laid out the same exact way, so it's easy to install stuff like that. Um, so yeah, another program you're going to need is called VTF Edit, which allows you to view uh, view the textures in a window. It just makes it a little easier when you're you know when you're trying to construct something. Uh, like like this roof texture or whatever. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, I'm first you got to decide what you want to make a combination of. Like uh, in this example right here that I made, I made a combination of dirt and uh, not dirt, sorry, rock and grass, which came out all right. Especially when I started blending it, like right around here, you can see it's blended pretty okay. Um, just to make a little cliff type thing. Um, anyway, so let's say if we wanted to make a combination of, like, I don't know, like dirt, like dirt and wood or something, I don't know. I'm just gonna, or how about sand and, uh, wood, I don't know, I'm just making a random blend. Um, so let's go into our folder here. Uh, here we go. This is the GCF scape of data defeat source. Remember, I, I backtracked, and here goes materials. Um, now, note that not all the textures for data defeat are in here. Well, the data defeat textures are in here, but uh, not all the textures you'll find in Hammer are within within data defeat source, the GCF file. They might be in uh, source, or is it? Like source engine materials that might be in here as well, so you might need to look through there as well. But um, I'm just going to use straight up DoD textures. Uh, materials, let's go to nature, because I know the sand is in there. Now, for every texture file, there's two, well, there's two or more files, depending on how detailed uh, you want to get it. But uh, for standard files, you or textures, you need two files. There's the VTF, which is basically the image, and then there's VMT, which is the properties of it. Like, you give it, like, the ability to, um, you know, what kind of surface is it? Is it sand? Is it dirt? Uh, glass? You know, whatever. You can also tell it um, the bump map, you know, like, where the bump map directory is. Like, this particular texture I selected has a bump map of, it's usually called uh, normal. Yeah, that's right here. Let's see, that's what it looks like, the bump map of it. But, um, anywho, uh, basically, all you need to do for a blend is have a combination of um, a few things. Like, let me take an example blend right here. Uh, this is Anzio Grass Blend. Let me just, I'm going to click and drag it to my desktop because, just to make things a little simpler. Um, so, this is what it looks like. Okay, base base texture is the standard texture and then when you start blending it this is the alternate texture right here which is grass uh, for this case it just happens to be called grass 2 now all you have to do to make a blend uh, let's find another texture like was it wood let's do a wood one oh it's a normal I don't want normal let's do this one yeah okay wood floor 007A. So this is under the wood category. So let's say if I wanted to, um, let's go wood. And we're just gonna edit this. 
wood wood floor 007A I believe that's what it's called, right? Yeah, wood floor 007A that'll work and basically all I have to do is let's just save as uh, custom save it and now uh, let me close that so it doesn't screw up and I'm just gonna copy and paste it into my DOD folder on my desktop. I have a shortcut to it, so it just makes my life a little easier. Uh, let's go to materials, and you can place it in whatever directory you want. I'm just gonna put it in. Uh, I thought I had a custom one in here. I'll just put it in the TE one. TE is my clan, and basically, um, uh, let's first let's rename it. I'm just gonna call it. Wait, I thought I already renamed it. Oh, that's why. Wait. Ah, it doesn't matter. Wait, let me open it again. Ah, oh, I didn't save it. I'll just type it in again. Wait. Wood floor 007A. Now it's. What the heck? It is on my desktop still. Whatever. Let me close that. Uh, I'm just going to rename it Custom stuff to be descriptive um, so yeah one thing you gotta make sure that you get rid of though like all I did was uh, I just took it and changed the directory of the other texture one thing you gotta make sure you get rid of um, well, let's say if there's a bump map that's included in here uh, like a lot of time like uh, one problem I had with making this one right here was that uh, I originally took the rock texture, which had a bump map on it, and what it was doing, it was starting to put the bump map of the rock on the grass, so it just looked really weird. And so, uh, you might want to get rid of that. If there's anything about a bump map in here, you might want to just delete the whole row. You know, or whatever. Uh, and that's about it for... Oh, detail type, that's one thing that's kind of important. Like, uh, some textures you'll notice there might be, like, you know, little pieces of, you know, sprite grass that are sticking up or whatever. Um, depending on your situation, you might want to get rid of that or not. Like, in my case, I'm going to get rid of it. Custom stuff, so. Uh, I wonder if that's already in there. I might, I might have to, uh... Yeah, and there it is. It doesn't have a preview picture of, like, um, you know, it's cut in half and everything. But if you wanted to, you can make one uh, through your own experiments. I'm not going to show you, but you can, um, in some of the VMT files, there might be, there's a link in here somewhere that can basically, you know, it's a link to show Hammer, like, what the preview image is. But this doesn't have a preview image, so it just looks like that. I'll start using it right now. Like, I'm just going to do it to this face. Or right, let's do it to this face. Uh, if I could s select it, Jesus, custom. There we go. As you can see, I already started doing some alpha paint here. See, and there you go. It's, you have your blend. 